What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And here today, we're gonna talk about the best font manager for PC in 2021. And I know that we have done this review before, but that was back in the day, and we don't really wanna talk about the past, but do we? All right, so personally for me, um, Suitcase Fusion was working fine, and then it wasn't. As soon as Adobe did their update, everything went to shizelle. So <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it up. But I wanna read some of these comments, and these comments, in these comments, I found this new software called MainType. So here's the first comment, I'm gonna read it to you. Bought and was disappointed with Suitcase Fusion. Me too. Here now, trying to find one that will work properly. Same here. Suitcase Fusion is way too complicated. It's not really complicated, it's just buggy and slow, and it doesn't really manage a lot of fonts very well. Um, and yes, every time Windows 10 has an update, um, they wanted to charge me more. But my problem was is that every time Windows 10 or Adobe had an update, it would crash and then it would not work at all. So there lies the problem. And then they're like, they just went to a subscription model, which put me off for good. I personally think that they deliberately made the software like not work to force you to go to the subscription based model. And I'm sorry, like, uh, I'm not like rich, but I'm not like poor, but I consider myself to be average income and no the hell I would not pay $86 a year for that. That's ridiculous, especially since the last version didn't work. And then here's one of the best font man managers, which even comes with the free edition is main type. You seem to have missed one of the best font managers for windows and it is main type, which has a free edition and two other editions with powerful features. I've tried over a dozen font managers, but main type is the only font manager that was able to manage my large font collection without crashing. Besides it's fast and easy. Okay. So guys, guess what? I have decided to get main type so that way you guys don't have to and we're gonna find out if these comments are true or not. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the software and let's get to it. So before I expand this software, I just wanna show you guys that I'm in the main type 10.0 professional edition for PC and it's licensed to me, Charlotte Salcedo. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this, but I'm going to expand it. I just wanted to show you that because for YouTube, it only records so much of the screen and um, I wanted to show you that. And I'll shrink it down when we have to look at the top of the menu here. But let's go ahead and take a walkthrough of this program. Now, first thing I want you to notice here is that I have 29,488 fonts. Yes, I am a font addict. And it's been only 20 seconds since the last time I downloaded a font. I believe I'm going through withdrawals since I have not downloaded font in the last 20 seconds. Yes, I am an absolute font addict. You guys know this. And I really was looking for a font manager to like basically hold it all because I'm not rich and I'm not switching to a Mac at this point. I've already invested into my custom build and it's not going to happen, especially during the pandemic. Who's going to come up with, you know, that kind of Apple money, you know what I'm saying? So us PC users, we need to find a, a type manager that works with all of our font collections, you know? We have obsessions too, you know what I mean? Probably the first thing that you're going to want to know is what's the difference between free standard and professional all right well with the free you can install 2500 fonts which is a lot for a free edition and also you get to repair two fonts for free and i'm going to tell you something i'm going to be completely honest with you font base corrupted literally like all my fonts and it was a complete nightmare so if you've used font base and upgraded your Windows 10 all, and all of your fonts may have been corrupted, I would highly recommend the professional edition because the um, 
the standard edition does not um, fix a lot of those issues. Um, so, and then also the professional edition is unlimited, so you can install unlimited fonts. But however, if you don't have corrupt fonts and you only have, um, if you have less than 10,000 fonts, I would definitely recommend the standard edition. I think $49 is a decent price for this. Um, but personally for me, since I am a font addict, I have the professional edition. So, I mean, that's basically the difference between those um, editions. And then also, you don't have custom views with the free edition. And I'll go ahead and go over that, guys. So how do you add a new, uh, like your fonts to here? So as you guys know, I organize my fonts into one font folder, which has other folders inside those folders. And if you watch my last video on how to organize your fonts, um, I'll leave a description below so you can watch that video. But if you look here to the left, that's how I have my fonts. So I have it in a main folder of fonts and then I've grouped them into just different things that I will remember myself. Um, you can name your folders whatever you want or you can not organize them at all. That's completely up to you. I do believe that this type of font manager, it will, it can organize the fonts based on the style here. So I mean, totally up to you. But how to add the fonts, you're gonna click on this plus sign here and it will take you out to wherever you want to browse to like say for instance if you have an external hard drive and then add the folder it will take a, a while it depends on how many fonts you have I have 29,000 fonts so it took about an hour to add them but one of the things that I wanted to mention is like let's say for instance you you had like new fonts that you added to your folder well if you have the professional edition it automatically updates but um, I got the free version played with it and then I got the um, professional edition and how I updated my font folders to include, um, you know, because it had the limit of 2500 to include the updated fonts. I just clicked on this. So I had to adjust the screen so you could see. So you go to library and then refresh font folders and then it will refresh all the folders and it will add any fonts that aren't currently added in there. So that's really freaking cool. I love that feature. And then also there's a sample at the bottom here and you can change this to whatever you want. I mean, literally, if you go to the options here, um, you can change this to say whatever you want. Happy, happy, joy, joy. That's from like Ren and Stimpy. Right. apply so now at the bottom here it will say happy happy joy joy and you can I just cancel it out of that but I mean now like say for instance if you're doing a logo for somebody and you wanted to put it down there to see how it's gonna look or how a header is gonna look that is completely useful right there the next thing I love about this that I haven't found in any type manager is that the other characters like the basic Latin, like if you look over here to the right hand side under the characters, if you click here, you can see that this has tons of supplemental um, characters here that we weren't able to see before um, in the other crappy uh, font managers. And then here, like if you look, at, if you scroll, there's no lag whatsoever. It's working beautifully. Like I can't believe this. Like, do you know how much problem I had with like font base, like being bugging out and suitcase fusion? I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm scrolling and you could scroll on this side too and it's not like bugging out. So, can click on this and you can edit the preview text here by right clicking on it. You can rate the font very bad average so you can also categorize by how you rank them as well i mean this is a game changer guys look at this you can see the currency symbols here like all of these um different ones and if you click on it it'll show you a preview look at that isn't that amazing this is freaking amazing guys 
Like, this is what we've been waiting for. And I can't believe that this isn't advertised. I didn't find this on Google or anything. I found this from people, like, chatting to me, like, other people. So, like, word of mouth. If you have a product that works well, you need to talk about it. Because people are, like, tired of buying crappy software that doesn't work. And this apparently does work. And this is, I've been waiting for this all my life. Like, I kid you not, guys. This is, this is it right here. It's everything that you need and don't even like like get bitchy about the price because I'm telling you like that's not a bad deal considering the fact that this can hold like over 29,000 fonts and there's nothing that can compare to it. I've tried everything dudes. I've tried everything. Literally. This is also a time saver. Do you know how much time it would take? Because I, I know that at least 10,000 or more of my fonts were corrupted. Do you know how long it would take to like go back to the manufacturers and re-download each font and put it in its perspective folder? It literally took me like an entire month to catalog my fonts. I don't think that I would want to do that. And that alone is worth it because this, this software automatically repaired all of my fonts just like that. It was amazing. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It was absolutely freaking amazing and I loved it. And you should love it too and you should get this software because it's freaking amazing. So the number one question is, is how does this work with Photoshop? And it's very simple here and I'm gonna go ahead and click here to install the font. You can see how easy it is in in this corner it's saying processing one out of one resources so all you have to do is remember the name of the font asphalt brush regular open photoshop click your type tool and then click on in here in your type manager and type asphalt brush regular it pops right up and you can see the font right there it's that simple it works guys finally a font manager that works. I can't tell you how how relieved I am to find this. Not only that, you can add notes to this. Amazing, right? It has your recently accessed fonts access today. You can tag fonts. Um, you could do custom views. I mean, there's so many different features here, but it's simple. You don't have to use all those complicated features if you don't want to. I mean, it, and this is the little box to open the tag manager. You can add tags to your fonts. That way you can organize them better. But guys, tell me what you guys think about this. Um, leave a comment below. Um, do you think that this is the best font manager so far in 2021? Or do you guys have a, another suggestion? Um, these are my thoughts and these are my conclusions. I mean, this really does work. I've tested it out thoroughly and um, I really hope you guys give this a shot. Like I said, when I first came across it, it didn't look like much because of, you know, the name and stuff like that. It wasn't really popular. So, I mean, I'm just letting you guys know from a graphic designer to a designer or whatever type of designer you are, this is definitely, I highly recommend the software for uh, 2021, this is the font manager. It is a game changer. Download it, guys. I will leave a link in the description below. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and uh, don't stop hacking. Don't stop photo hacking. Have a great day. Bye.